Hello everyone, welcome back to Mixed Best TV. Hope you're having a great day. Long overdue, especially for someone like me, a long time user of the SM7B microphone. Today we are testing the cloud lifters, the CL1, the original model, and the very interesting CLZ mic activator with variable impedance and some cool features on the board like high pass filter and this selector here that allows you to control how much gain you get. Let me tell you all about these. So the original cloud lifter CL1 mic activator is basically a block of clean DC coupled gain driven by phantom power and able to add 20 to 25 dB of level to the output of a dynamic microphone. For example, someone like me that uses the Shure SM7B dynamic microphone a lot. That's a mic that requires a lot of gain and sometimes if the source is quiet or if you're using an interface, even a good interface with good preamps, you have to crank the gain on those interfaces so much that it starts to get noisy. These guys come into play. They will provide 20 to 25 dB of clean gain, super clean gain, and improve your whole signal chain. And they require no power because they are phantom powered. They are great for ribbon microphones, passive ribbon microphones, against which have a low output. And the design of the cloud lifter, its direct coupled discrete JFET circuitry isolates the mic from the phantom power source. So there's the added security of knowing that you will never accidentally apply phantom power to your ribbon mic. Of course, as the phantom power is used for clean gain and is not passed, these cannot be used with phantom power microphones like condenser microphones. The original CL1 mic activator is as simple as it gets. It requires no power, no switches, rugged metal body and rubber feet. You just plug it in into your chain between your preamp and your microphone and you're good to go. But today we're going to test the new advanced model, the cloud filter CLC with variable impedance. And this thing is pretty awesome. Metal chassis again, built like a tank, it requires no power, it's phantom powered. And on board, you have an HPF filter, a variable HPF filter, and then a switch, more or max. So you can decide if you want a boost of 12 dB or all the way up to 20 and 25. That depends on the microphone you're using it with. But the main difference is the variable impedance that goes from 150 fully variable to 15K. But the interesting thing of the variable impedance is that it doesn't just allow you to match perfectly any mic out there, including the old ribbon microphones, but it acts like a tone shaper, like a tone changer. You can adjust the impedance on any mic and while doing that, you will hear that different impedances will give you different sounds from the same microphone. We will hear that clearly in a minute in studio with the SM7B. So just to give you a general idea of what to look for, listen for in the audio test, most mics require an impedance of about 1.5K, but with this knob, you will hear that by turning it counterclockwise, the mics will be darker and duller, and turning it clockwise, it will get brighter and sharper. Of course, extreme settings will not sound that good, especially too low of an impedance can create noise, but that's not what is meant for. That's just an added value and it's fun to play because you can really tailor any microphone uh, to the sound, to the singer that you're recording, to the kind of vibe that you wanna get just with that. And an interesting thing about the HPF filter is that this one is also variable and it interacts with the variable impedance knob. Usually is always around 100 to 60 Hertz but turning the variable impedance and according to what mics you have plugged in, the HPF filter will change. So this is another uh, tool to tone shaping and find really find a sweet spot for any mic with this one. So without further ado, let's go in studio in Beverly Hills and test these two guys. Tonight I'm here in Beverly Hills at Harmony Studio with two amazing singers, Kia Hi. and Carly, and an almost amazing guitar player, Zach. You saw him in my metal course, and we are here tonight testing 
cloud microphones, cloud lifters. All right, for this test tonight, the signal path is gonna be the following. The infamous Shure SM7B uh, is a dynamic microphone. You guys all know it. It requires a lot of gain. So sometimes when you turn the gain up on preamps or interfaces, it gets noisy. So it's the perfect match for the cloud lifters here. We are gonna record with this new interface here, the Arturia AudioFuse 8 Pre. I just got this one. This is gonna be the first test. It's an amazing interface. Uh, we are gonna talk about this on another video, but this is gonna be our interface. We're gonna track through it. Uh, Phantom Power activated. We'll activate the cloud lifter. This is, this is my last night. Give me a memory I can use And take me by the hand while we do what lovers do It matters how all this is Cause what if I never Is if this is my last night with you, hold me like I'm more than just a friend, give me a memory I can use, and take me by the hand while we do. how this is cause what if I never love again all right Kia is on the mic this time while she sings I'm gonna rotate the variable impedance knob and hear the microphone change tone I've been dancing with the wolves in my head Painting pictures of confusion in my mad Underestimating all the rules I've set I've been craving for Somalis acting strange I call it funny, I'm trapped in illusion again I see no barriers in front of me, just possibilities. So, baby, here I am. That's great. This was our second singer, Kia. Thank you so much. And now we record a little bit of acoustic guitar. Same mic, SM7B. And as you can see from the other camera, is pointed between the hole and the bridge. As before, he's gonna play it and gonna turn the variable impedance knob so we hear how that changes the tone of the mic.
And for this video, special thank to Zach, Carly, and Kia. Thank you so much, guys. Say hi to our audience. Hi. All right, these were the Cloud Microphone Cloud Lifter CLZ Variable Impedance Mic Activator and the CL1. We didn't test this one because it's basically the same thing without the added feature. It will add 25 dB of super clean gain, phantom power. They require no power, no external power. I hope this video was useful. I hope you liked it. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. In the info box down below, you will find the link to Cloud Microphones. Give them a shout out on social media. Subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.